Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody, Faye, baby, daddy, voice of the street, man. And today we and ooh, ooh, we go be in Alabama with it, y'all. Hoover, Alabama, to be exact, y'all. We go be uh talking about the story, y'all. Know y'all in the sink of uh, <coughs> what's her name? Carlette Russell, y'all. She's the 25 year old nursing student that come up missing. Only to be returned two days later, y'all. They had a big manhunt looking for this woman. And, you know, thank God that she made it home alive, y'all. But uh, let me just show y'all something. Because some people saying it's a hoax. They don't really know. Well, let me just show you. Uh, it's a lot of things that happen that y'all don't even be knowing the police have footage of every fucking thing. Highways and everything. I want y'all to look at the camera. If this woman lying, listen, they got her dead to right. Because she said she seen the baby walking along the street, the highway, y'all. And she pulls over. She finna tend to the baby. It's a lot of traffic. So she got off Thursday night, y'all, right? Went to a restaurant, got something to eat, and then supposed to have been on her way home. On her way home, she sees a toddler on the highway, allegedly, and she pulls over to tend to the child and see what's going on. Now, if you ask me, I don't think no woman should be pulling over by herself. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe, y'all. If you're just coming in here, tuning in, hit that subscribe button. I don't think she should have been pulling over by herself being a woman alone, you know, even if it's a, a baby, hey. You don't want to put yourself in harm's way because that could have been a ruse. They people use bait like that to lure you out of your cars and shit like that. And thank God she was able to return. But I'm going to show y'all this camera footage and then I'm going to come back with my thoughts. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This going to be her car to the right pulling over. And y'all go see if y'all see a baby or you see that she get in the car or something, y'all. Here we go. On the body, y'all. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all this and see if y'all see a car or a baby. 71, it's gonna be 49 south. Pulling over to, to the right, y'all. It's gonna be a child walking on the three four year old child walking on the side of the road. RB's gonna be close by on a red Mercedes sedan with a hazard zone. Child's gonna be a white Okay, boy. 
four. That's the RP. We're trying to call her back. Somewhere, y'all. The only place she could have went is to the right. Uh, now that's enough, y'all. It's just quite a few more of that. Now y'all, let me know what y'all think. You know, y'all see how good the uh, camera got it. They got all of that, y'all. It wasn't no baby on the highway. She pulled over. She was pulling over. She went further down. I don't know if she knew it was a camera there or not. It looked like she was trying to get out of the focus of the camera, but it really ain't no way of her really knowing like that either. But she just pulled over and went down there. And, you know, I think this on somebody else's channel. She got out the driver's side door and walked in, opened that back door. And uh, we need to ask the goddamn police, was that food still in the car? And you might say, why you want to know that? Because if she took anything, she took that shit. She might have ate that shit and left. Hey, people sometimes cheat very strangely. People do shit for attention. But what would be the purpose of her doing all this, y'all? She left her car and everything right there. If somebody abducted her, they show sure was nice or she fought and got away. She was gone two days. Now, sometimes people might think they could do something and maybe worry their parents a little bit. She probably didn't know that they was going to have a whole FBI team, the search team. And I'm talking about y'all, for this to be a black woman, a lot of time it be white people they go out their way for. They went out their way looking for this girl very quickly. Especially when they found out she was a student and everything. And, man, they like shit. They had a lot of people out there looking for this woman. So, I'm not going to say what I think. You know, I don't know what to think. Some people say, uh, is it fake or was it real? Mm. You didn't see nobody grab her, though. You know what I mean? You, we clearly watching at it. Nobody grabbed her. She got out the car on her own. She walked to the back door where the baby was. You know, you said it was a baby out here. You should have been walking somewhere to the baby. We should see you bending down, picking up a baby, or if you grab a baby and put it in the car. Seems like it could have been a hoax. They said she was talking to another relative, and she could hear her say, Ah! Well, the police, she was on the line with them. They didn't hit none of that. And they came right out there quick looking for her. And all that traffic was going by, y'all. Nobody else called and said it was a baby on the highway. You know, and they like, look, that's strange. Because a lot of times when you get a call on something, you get three, four phone calls. If somebody had seen that, everybody on the highway would have been calling in if they think that even more people might have even pulled over. But my thing is this, ladies. If you traveling by yourself, don't do this. I mean, serious, do not do this. Because if this woman was abducted, y'all, she is very lucky to be alive. Because they sell these women, they make prostitutes out of them, Sometimes they just kill them and cut them up for organ parts, you know. She might be an organ donor and they would cut her ass up and sell every piece in her body. You'll be surprised what the shit in your body go for. You might get a hundred thousand dollars just for her heart. Her kidneys thirty thousand, fifty thousand for a long ain't no telling. You know, they sell your eyes, your ears, everything. Black man might cut your penis off, sell it to a white motherfucker. You never know, hey. Motherfucker, you lizard motherfucker might cut your tongue out and sell it to a motherfucker. Man, man you never know. You feel me? I'm just glad she ain't hurt y'all and she did pop back up. They said she popped back up barefoot, y'all. And knocking on her own door. She made it home. 
But you know, like I say, some people will say, oh, it's fake. Why would you go through all that shit only to go home? You know, her boyfriend talking about, uh, he glad she made it home safe. He prayed all night and he stayed up ever since that day uh, she got kidnapped. Ain't nobody never used the word kidnap at all, y'all. None of the police use the word kidnap. They don't like to label that shit until they factual about it. They did not use the word kidnap. They they might say if she was abducted, they was looking for her. They just said she was missing. And they was looking for the little toddler too. Had a description of him. They gone by he's a white male with a t shirt and diapers on. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I guess that dude describes the little baby, huh? I know one thing. I wouldn't have got out of my motherfucking car, and I'm a whole man. You know, if me and my wife ride, she'd be like, baby, that's a baby. Uh -huh. Well, your baby in the back seat. Okay, that's all that matters. We go keep on moving. Somebody else can play this and matter. I don't understand what was on this lady mind to think that she should get out the car out of all people. Then I heard the police say she had a red Mercedes. What? And you pulling over in a red Mercedes? Girl, is you crazy? But she made it back home and she ain't doing much talking. They asking her, you know, they asking for the, uh, get the family some time because glad she made it home. They had put up a $50,000 reward for her return. Now you think they gonna give her the $50,000? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Sometimes people might be thinking like that. Somebody said they had started a GoFundMe account. And now they go out to give some of that money back and they might not have to. People ain't tripping on that shit. It's gone, it's gone. They just glad it had a good outcome. Because a lot of times when these women come up missing, that be it, y'all. You don't see them no more. You hear me? You don't see them. No more. So we just want to say uh, we glad the sister made it back, man. And look, this video here, man, was brought to you by a place called Room to Play, y'all. Room to Play is a daycare. It's over there on 88th and State, right next to the jewels. You can't miss it. You go over there and tell them G Shrimp sent you, man. It's Room to Play. So you got little toddlers that go perfect with this story. Since we were looking for a baby, y'all, when you find a little baby, bring them over here to my people daycare, man. They're going to take care of the little baby. Baby won't be winding up and down the motherfucking highway no more. You feel me? That's the end of that. We're going to get the little baby some daycare, and the baby be all right. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And hit that cash app, too, y'all. Look, now check this out. Other thing I want to... Because since we're talking about missing kids and this, did y'all see Boosie's daughter come out on him? And some people are giving her a hard time talking about she brought it to social media. Well, that's where he do all his talking at. So, he getting a taste of his own medicine. The thing is this, why is uh they blowing up at you like this? Now, Boosie, for my eyesight, seemed to be a good father. Seemed to be. But one thing I do notice is Boosie uh, seemed to only want to give them money, and they only live good when they with him. When they get ready to go back home, they back to being broke and basic. Now, this is the same little girl when Boosie got out, y'all, was hollering, I told you, I told you, I told you. This also the same girl who mother Boosie got into it with that time. She was coming home and she got up mad. Boosie called her and cussed her mom out. Bitch, you turn my daughter against me? Tell her I'm taking her ass out my wheel in the morning. I'm taking her ass out my wheel in the morning. He just snapped out. Threatening the girl, said, I'll drop a bag on you, bitch. Keep playing with me, I'll drop a bag on you like I did your punk-ass brother. 
She like, you ain't did nothing to my brother. Stop playing, you ain't did nothing to my brother. So they already had tension and bad blood. Now the little girl say, Boosie bought her a car, y'all, a Mercedes. Long as she was in Atlanta staying at his house, she could drive it. Boosie said she was going on shopping sprees and everything. Yeah, that's cool. You were spoiling her while she was there. But what good is you having a new car and everything and you can't take your mama for a ride nowhere? Said mama had just gotten to the hospital and needed some medical attention. And the daughter was coming down there to help her a little bit, right? Boosie got mad and told her, you leave here, you ain't taking that motherfucking car. And she like, fuck the car. She left the car. Then Boosie had the nerve to say something like, Mama hit him with child support. And what type of woman got a 15-year-old boy stand with her? Let me let you know something, Boosie. The 15-year-old boy is your daughter's boyfriend. She going home to get her some dick because she can't get it at daddy house, man. Or didn't your ass notice that? She can't get it at daddy house. And she want to floss her little car, man. I mean, you bought her a little pink car. You trying to make her stay girly, man. Listen, she want to ride that motherfucker. And then, just like you act buck wild and crazy, they like that. Yeah, man. Fuck you, man. You ain't my daddy no more. You a sperm donor. I, I can relate. I done went through that. My daughter tried to do me like that one time, clown. See, they do that when you done spoil them. And when you say no to them one time, they get upset. I went down there and beat my daughter ass, y'all. You hear me? I went down there and got on her ass. She was texting me. This when Texas first come out, y'all. She texting me, calling me all kind of names. Say I was a dad bitch. I ain't never did nothing for her. And all kind of shit. And I'm saying to myself, every dollar you ever had came from me. Because your mama ain't got no money. I know I ain't. I know I must be blind. I know I ain't reading this shit. She talked so much shit, y'all, I drove to her house. She didn't even know I was coming. She still in her feelings, upset, texting me, talking shit. I rings the doorbell, and my baby mama opened the door, and she said, Ooh! I'm like, where's she at? My daughter looked out down the hall and tried to run. I chased her down, y'all, and... Clapped up a little bit. I'm going to tell you something. Every time you ask me for something, I give it to you. I said, you going to give me the same motherfucking respect you give me when I say yeah. That's the same respect you going to give me when I say no, god damn it. All I say is you can't do it today, we'll do it tomorrow. And now I'm a dead be ain't shit. You ever disrespect me like that, then i kill you, bitch. And that slipped out, y'all. That's how mad I was. You know, that's how mad I was. Now, I can relate to Boosie's side. And I can relate to her side. You know what I mean? Boosie seems like he controlled them kids with money. You know, and uh, why is it that they only live good when they're with you? Okay, I know you got the money, but if you're getting enough money, shit, buy your baby mama a nice house, man. And let your daughter go home sometime, you know. What good is buying a child a nice car and you ain't going to let her enjoy it and floss it? Her friends ain't up there in Atlanta. She got brothers and sisters maybe up there, but her friends is in Baton Rouge still. Where your other daughter and your son, all of them like to flip through there. What's wrong with her flipping through there? Boosie just can't stand her mama so much. He didn't give a fuck if she was dying. He didn't want her to go back, y'all. You hear me? And that's some cold shit. That's really petty as hell, Boosie. If you took that girl car, if I bought my daughter a car, I don't give a fuck what she do with it, y'all. I bought it for her. It is her car. She can go wherever she pleases to go in that car. Once I bought it, I have no more control over it. And you still trying to control this girl. I don't know how old she's 17 or 18. How old she is. If you bought her a damn car. Then she grown enough to move around on her own. 
what's so wrong with her going to see her mama? Her mama is your enemy. And you want to keep it like that. And you want to hold grudges. No, that ain't, that ain't cool. And then the other lady said, the other day she said, I'm the queen of holding grudges. I was just joking. I said, I hear you. I'm the king of holding grudges. I was just agreeing with the fan. I don't hold grudges like that, y'all. One other lady said, you don't hold grudges. That's just bad, bad on you. I'm like, well, I was just siding with my fan. I don't hold grudges like that. But sometimes I will. It depends on who the fuck it is. Because once I stop fucking with you, I'm going to stop fucking with you. Now, I might not hold no grudge, but I just ain't fucking with you no more. That's all. You know, if I had to cut you off, trust me, you did something wrong. Because I work hard to be considerate, y'all. I work hard not to rub people the wrong way. So I say this, and I say this with confidence. A lot of time, it don't be me. A lot of time it don't be me. You can tell a motherfucker right now you in love. You know what the old time would say love was? Love is a misunderstanding between two damn fools. And the more you fall in love, the more misunderstood your ass become. And you will be agree. Once you fall out of love, you agree like, damn, I was. Sure was. I was strung out over this bitch. Or she saying the same thing. Well, I was strung out over the dick. Mm -hmm. Don't y'all notice some of the best love songs and R&B songs come out the breakups. You know what I mean? Come out the breakups. That pain. When you singing from the heart, that real pain come out. Can't be duplicated, y'all. And everybody can feel that. You feel it? Everybody can feel that when you sing it like that. That's what Mary J. told one of the other little singers. She said, you want to know how you had the people standing up on their feet, standing in chairs, clapping? She said, you write your own songs. And when you write them, you write them from the heart. And people will feel that because most people can relate. I be telling a lot of stories and a lot of people can relate. Like I said the other day, you smarter than you think. Trust yourself. And somebody said, hit her like a ton of bricks. You know, she can be late. I don't know if she read it somewhere, whatever. She told me where the quote come from. I'm like, yeah, well, that's kind of my motto I picked up on. You want something done right, do it yourself. You smarter than you think. Trust yourself. You feel me? It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody, Faith Baby Daddy, Washington Street, man. I'm a plant and dig you later. Hit that like button, y'all. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for me, man. We're trying to get on up there. You feel me? It's your boy G Shrimp. I'm out.